It has been an incredible weekend for rounds four and five of the World Rally Cross Championship here in Riga, Rhinus. Yes, absolutely. You know, Riga never disappointing. So uh, let's see ours, mine and Jenny's top five moments. So in fifth, Matthias Ekström made a welcome return to the sport. It's been a while since the Swede has been sat in a World RX supercar, but any rust fell off extremely quickly. That's extra back to his best. Incredibly, he won Q2 on Saturday's event and would have been through to the final were it not for a puncture. He was back on Sunday and despite a prop shaft failure in Q3, which didn't see him get off the line, he was still on the front row for his semi and eventually closed out his weekend fourth in the final. Good to see extra back in World RX. In fourth, and as always, plenty of action in Euro RX1. And it was a busy weekend for Darius Topolievski Oponeo crew. He retired from his qualifying round after suspension failure sent his Fiesta into the barriers. And it continued on Sunday in qualifying three when his car caught fire. Oh, and in the background, Topolievski's Fiesta is on fire. It all made a bit of mess, but the crew soldiered on and got the car repaired. In third, and having seen fireworks into turn one all weekend, it was no different on Sunday morning. The first qualifying race did not go to plan for the Hansen brothers. Off the start, both Timmy and Kevin beside each other on the outside line. Both the Hansen brothers in trouble. Timmy initially pitched sideways and doing a mega job to keep his Peugeot 208 out of the wall during this enormous slide. The result, though, was running wide into turn two, and that was enough to let Timo Scheider through. The all Inkel Seat driver went on to win, leaving Timmy to finish second. Things far worse, though, for his brother, Kevin Hansen. Again, a turn one disaster. You are and not giving Kevin any space through turn one. The Swede left with two options. Back out of it or end up in the tyres. He chose option one, spinning the car and finishing stone last in his first qualifying race of Sunday's action. And in second place, dominating on pace throughout all the Saturday's action, Johan Christofferson and his EKS GC run Audi S1 stuck in a pole for the final. He was the undoubted favorite for the win and looking finally to take his first victory of the year here in Riga. But the monkey on his back wasn't going anywhere. Christofferson, oh! And Christofferson oh, is out! Christofferson is bumped and spun off the track! Making contact with Nicholas Stromholm on the run down turn one and pitched sideways into the tire wall. And our top position this weekend goes to the winners. The first final of this weekend's double header saw Nicholas Kronholm line up on the front row alongside Johan Christofferson. And after Johan was in the tire wall, Kronholm never looked back. Fresh from his podium finish in France a few weeks ago, the Finn closed out round four in spectacular style to take his first victory of the year. And the fourth round of the FIA World Rallycross Championship will be going the Finn's way. It is Kronholm! The question is, could he do the double on Sunday? In short, the answer was no. While Gronholm put it on pole for the final, alongside him, Johan Christofferson got a better start. And there goes the green, and it's go for the fastest six in the world. And it is, Christofferson goes around the outside. Leading out of turn one and closing out the victory. A spectacular drive after a miserable year so far. Career win number 25 for the Audi S1 driver. So there you go, that's Rhinus and myself's top five moments from this weekend, but there's still so much more that went on and you can catch it all on Red Bull TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Red Bull Rally channel and stick your comments in the box as well. We love hearing from you. And of course, we do it all again in three weeks time when World RX heads for Belgium Spa. Listen, Rhinus, it's been a blast working with you this weekend. Thank you very much for your company. At the very least, I reckon I owe you a beer. Yeah, thanks. Ciao, bye. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>